so we finally got some of these frames for our beehive um, and we're gonna add them today so the idea is to start getting the hive ready um, before it gets too cold so I might also have to start giving the bees some sugar syrup or some sort of supplemental feeding um, but we'll see I'll have a look at the hive see how much honey and how far along are they they are a new colony so um, I'm not expecting too much so it's like the rooster again like all of a sudden it's it's really cold it's chilly in the morning um but nonetheless we need to feed the ewes they are lambing which is exciting um so we need to feed them and then i'll do the bees we think most of them already lambed, but there's still a few younger ewes, um, first timers, that still needs to lamb. And yeah. Well done. Just a quick update. Um, in the meanwhile, uh, we have been um, cutting and baling more lucerne, and we're hoping to get another cut in before 
the end of the season. Um, I haven't posted it, but I did record some of it, so I'm just gonna quickly put it in here now. gets too hectic um, I'm gonna quickly have a look at the hive and then yeah I feel I can show some of it it is difficult with the camera and the bees um, but let's let's do it while we wait hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done Time's just begun Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright So, 
Um, I'm having a bit of trouble with uh, putting the feeder in. Um, so the feeder is a bit too wide for the opening of the hive and the opening is fixed to the floor, um, which is a bummer, but I'll find a way to put this in. Um, I also don't want to put it outside the hive or on top of the hive because uh, we've been having trouble with ants and I'm just um, afraid the ants will take over the hive. I don't know. Um, but they seem quite busy for now. Um, there's a lot of bees coming back from foraging um, and they are quite full of um, pollen and it's looking good. Maybe I can put it in but not all the way and then they even have like this little space until I have figured it out. I think I'm gonna try that to see if it works. So it um it didn't go exactly as I planned. Um they were a bit feisty and they didn't feel like um, being bothered. I think it's because the wind is picking up and it's a bit cooler. Um, but I did manage to get the new frames in, um, into the super. I did remove the um, queen excluder just for now because um, I want to encourage them to go upwards uh, and start maybe building. Um, but yeah, they do seem real active, busy, there's a lot of them coming back with pollen, um, they're kind of looking good. I struggle to get the, um, the feeder into the, um, hive, um, I'll have to I'll have to come up with a plan for next time um, and I ended up putting it on top of the hive um, if I do see the ants are taking over I'll I'll probably just remove it anyway um, I'd also hope, I was hoping to be able to inspect the brood, um, but I think I'll have to leave that for another time. Um, and maybe a quieter day that's not as windy. Um, just to see how the queen's looking, how the brood is forming, and the honey. So. Um, so it was, it was okay, I guess, um, they're still there, um, I don't see any, um, wax moth, wax moths, 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 um, which is good, and, yeah, we'll see. We'll see, maybe next time, maybe in a week or so, I can go check them out again and see what they've been doing since now. Um, yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, hit subscribe and the bell to be notified every time we post a new video, which will hopefully be next Sunday, because um, this is a very exciting week. We are attending a Meat Master auction and 